everybody what's happening son of a silver stacker here in today's numismatic news and information for the 23rd day of august 2022 i'd like to welcome you over to atmex so we'll be able to check out those live spot prices however before that i'd like to welcome you over to good morning to you with tiny numismatics that's number 213 and that's going to be at 9 30 a.m this morning eastern time and then 6 30 a.m western pacific daylight time now let's head over to atmex and i'll hit refresh to find out where we're really at and bam looks like we're still the same look looks like gold Silver, platinum, and palladium are all up. Gold up five dollars eighty cents to seventeen fifty one seventy. Silver, it's kind of flat, up four pennies to nineteen twenty eight. Platinum up a dollar ten to eight ninety seven ten, and palladium up twenty six dollars seventy cents to twenty forty four fifty. Now let's head over here to the United States Mint. Now I really, um, man, that is beautiful, isn't it? I love that. It's so gorgeous. Ba -da -ba, you know the rest. Um, so wanted to go over what's remaining on the mint schedule here. So. Uh, if we go here to the top, I probably should have started there. It says 62 items, okay? Of the 62 items I have here, um, 13 that I thought were probably going to be must-owns for myself and probably super important for this year. So, uh, And some of them, I think, are key date products. So 13 of them, that means 49 of them um, either means I couldn't afford it or I wasn't interested in it. So I'd like to go over those now. Um, here we are, the first one here, and they came out this year. This is the uh, commemorative coin program for the Negro Leagues Baseball. And that is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products there, I believe. Um, they stop here at uh, February 7. Now, I thought, I really thought that the uh, Privy Mark um, silver coin would be the one. But that Privy Mark was so small, and I think they just missed out on the Jackie Robinson thing. Um, and the number 42 instead of 100, you know, or a 42 plus 100, I don't know. But that was, it seems like a miss. Now, what wasn't a miss, and uh, it's clearly uh, one of the most remarkable products this year, is the American Women Quarters. That's the clads, and that is specifically the San Francisco Mint. That's a San Francisco treat right there, isn't it? Now, let's go on to the other items uh, here on the list. And I will actually go, bam, here we go. So American Women Quarters, that's the S roll right there. Three roll set, $54. You know, in the beginning when these dropped, they had no mintage limit, no product limit, no household order limit, okay? Nobody nobody saw this one coming. Maybe a couple of people did, but basically even the dealers didn't see this coin program coming. Because let's face it, if you told coin dealers that there was another quarter program coming, they would roll their eyes and say, ugh, not again, because it just takes so long. Well, this one's a little bit different. It ends in 2025, which means it's a four-year program, which means that you should be able to get all 20 of these particular um, honorees in a really sh relatively short amount of time, right? Like in a high school career or a college career, four short years. And that's incredible for a quarter series, quarter program. And I think the Mint could easily learn from this particular rollout that less is more. Isn't that incredible? Now, let's go on to the next items. I told you there was 13 available this year. And I don't think that this one has the... Um, <sighs> the love that it should get just yet. Now, there was no mintage limit, no product limit, and our friend Mickey Minsky was asking about this one and the Silverproof set, saying, hey, you know, why is it that this particular um, product is unavailable? And there was no mintage limit, no product limit. Yeah, well, and, and it, was, it was very important because it's the American Women inaugural proof set, and, well, I believe the Mint did not make any additional product because there was a paper shortage, and this one is definitely um, different paper here and packaging than just the regular proof set okay um, however the insides are not but the outside packaging is and that really lends itself to the idea of like why did they cap the um, proof set for the American Women Quarters is it because they had the regular proof set from 2022 but it's not the same I think as um, this particular set because of the packaging and I, I want to say the value and the uh, value over time especially and that one was only $21 to drop now the next item I, I think is a huge um, important product this year bam there it is and it was for sale for $160 um, it is per currently uh, unavailable but if you do hit the remind me you should be able to maybe pull one if you're lucky vintage limit 10,000 product limit 10,000 and that is really super duper low 10,000 two and a half ounce silver metal and I you know I showed you some of these prices for the marine metal. Could these be a thousand dollar metal someday? Absolutely. Um, I think just give it time because um, these are that important. Um, they're that important that they made one ounce versions. And I don't believe the one ounce versions are going to be as important or at least as valuable as the two and a half ounce uh, metals will be or are. But it's still cool to have them. Okay. But they didn't make my list. 
of the what the one ounces didn't make my list. Now, obviously, you know, the, the all the American Women Quarters and Clad made the list this year. And that's, you know, all five products out of the 13. So that really re remained. The remaining is eight products that I thought were um, really important for this year. Now, this is the second release of the American Women Quarters. As you can see, the Mint had to take some action because they realized that the enrollments were all gobbled up and these were very, very important. That's the S set, okay? Um, now, what's interesting is that the 100 coin bag, the 100 coin bag from Philadelphia and Denver, and the P&D rolls were also gone lickety split, unlike the Nino Otero Warrens. Um, so I thought that was interesting, too, because the Nino Otero Warrens were the first, um, I guess, American Women Quarter of the clad that didn't have these first three uh, um, become remarkably unavailable in uh, on the first, you know, 10 minutes. So... Uh, this is the first quarter. They implemented the product limit, and they realized that their enrollments were gone, and they sent out notices to everybody. So clearly, clearly key product right there. Now, the next one that's a key product as well is the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor 2022 Colorized Silver Dollar. And people are still asking, hey, I haven't got mine yet. Has yours shipped? And yes, people have got theirs, and some people are waiting. And what does that do to the secondary market? But I'll tell you what, the um, shipping for this has changed like three or four or five times now. And along with um, the fact that not only did the Purple Heart Hall of Honor coins say that they were limited for the commemorative coin program only half halfway in, but now even the um, the Negro Leagues baseball commemorative coins say that they're limited as well. So um, this, though, I think is the key product for the um, commemoratives this year, and that is the colorized Purple Heart coin. And really, um, a lot of people think that this was really beautifully done um, very uh, subtle and um, just beautiful, beautifully done. Now, let's keep on going here. A lot to talk about. Now, this is the American Women Quarter so 2022 Silver Proof Set. And it's kind of got the same story as the uh, Proof Set. No mintage limit, no product limit, no household order limit when it dropped. And it is silver. And it's fractional silver. And it's the five honorees of the American Women Quarter program. And it's the inaugural set. So that makes this, a, I believe, a key set date or key date set. Um, so that backwards like Yoda. Um, now, with this particular set, it does come with the COA and a new type packaging. However, the lens with the lens paper in there is the regular um, silver proof sets uh, color. But like I said, you know, the mint came out and said, look, this stuff is not going to be what's, what's out there is what you get. There's going to be no more made for 2022. And I think that's what makes this product. Now, you can probably get these for a very reasonable price still. But I think in a year or so, these will be more popular than they are now. So let's keep on moving on to the next products. Now, this is a congratulations set of 2022. And our friend Mickey Minsky called this the Dune Dollar or the Dooney Dollar. And why do we call it that? Well, on the reverse here, you can see that Allison Dune's signature is on this particular product. And I believe it is the only product that she had um, her, uh, signed the COA. And she was only, I think, the um, acting director for three weeks. So to get... A name on a product is a big deal. Plus, plus, folks, this is also a key date product because it is the first congratulations set to feature the reverse of 2021. That's right, because last year's congratulations set of 2021 featured the reverse of 1986. So that's a key date product in my book. Now, here we go. Wilma Mankiller, um, the Mint did uh, implement a um, product limit for these, just like they did for the Sally Ride. So this was the third quarter to come out. Um, definitely huge. Now look at this. This I have the uncirculated coin set in here because, um, well, if you've been following along, um, uh, this, I believe, is where registry sets are born. And since this particular set came out, we've been looking at PCGS, and we've noticed that the grades for the Denver have hit a mint state 67, or was it 60? I believe it was a 68, but there's no Philadelphia's in 68 just yet. But I do believe we will see them. And I, like I said, I do believe this is where registry sets are born. And that's why I believe this is a key date product because it's the inaugural year for the women's quarters. Now, I just got a couple more mint products to go over. Bam, look at that. Now, for this particular um, two and a half ounce silver medal from the Armed Forces, the Finning Air made uh, so many of these. Uh, I, I saw somebody in the comments section today uh, about the Finning Air. Um, they bought three of these, and two of them had the severe Finning Air. Now, that's one third of the product that we're, um, you know, uh, going to be a, a proof for a Mint State 70. But. Uh, this I, this reminds me of the Morgan from Denver. 
the 2021 from from uh, Denver is uh, Morgan Dollar from Denver. I believe it is in uh, condition rarity, and because of that, it's going to be um, it is the okay most expensive Morgan Dollar right now. And I think the same goes for the United States Marine Corps two and a half ounce silver medal. Something about this, if you look at the prices on eBay, they are extraordinary, extraordinary. It's incredible. So yeah, I think it's a key day product. And obviously the Nino Otero Warren Quarters um, product limit, yes. You know, remember the three roll um, three roll set? Incredibly fast, sold out in two or three or four or five seconds. It was just like, okay, and it's gone. You know, so that shows you how important that is. Um, the bots maybe were turned on. Maybe people just with really fast computers uh, we won't know for sure, but it really would be cool if the United States Mint would turn on its um, anti-bot software for the American Women Quarters 2022 rolls and bags from Anime Wong. Now, whew, I know it's been a long video, but I think now hear this. Check this out. Now, hear me out. This um, this particular American Liberty 2022 silver medal. If we go back to the United States Mint schedule, okay, and you know I've gone over almost all of these products here so far with y'all. Okay, all the way up until I think pretty much the end of September. All right, here we go. September 26th, we got the uh, Coast Guard silver medal. Um, like I said, the one ounce silver medals are not on that list. However, the two and a half ounce Armed Forces medals are on that list. But let's keep going down here. The uh, Mint's uh, schedule. Franklin Pierce, not on the list. Mighty Minter's Ornament, not on the list. Not on the list here. Uh, definitely on the list for the anime Wong clad. Now, the limited edition silver proof set, it's not really m my favorite products because really, if you buy the San Francisco proof and you buy the San Francisco um, silver proof set, it's basically that just in a different packaging. So if they made it unique, it would be something that's limited edition. But really, the packaging is what's limited edition there. Nothing else. Now, this is American Innovation $1 coin reverse proof set. I'm definitely, that that probably should have made my list because I love that set. Now, check this out. This was something I didn't expect. But look at this, TBD. We haven't seen the Mint uh, have this kind of behavior in some time, maybe in about three or four months where they're shuffling things around on the schedule. But it says here, the American Eagle 2022 one ounce palladium reverse proof coin has been well, relegated to the end of the mint schedule. And I'm not sure why. It doesn't say anything. There was no um, press release on this. But, you know, um, something's up. Something's up big time. Why would they move it? Now, let's go to these plus ones today. I've yammered enough about this. Now, what state has the most streets? Yeah, Rhode Island does. They have the most streets. Now, here we are, 95.9 KOIN, Coin News Network. And this is Cool in the Gang, Too Hot, from the 1979 LP version. And this is high definition, high quality right there. Look at this. This is Winston Churchill. He said, whoops, how'd that happen? Let me go ahead and fix this. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Hear this, young men and women everywhere, and proclaim it far and wide. The earth is yours and fullness thereof. Be kind, but be fierce. You are needed now more than ever before. Take up the mantle of change, for this is your time. So listen, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're hearing, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker.